Jason White did the driving first of all. Big fellow who played blindside flanker, but now it locked forward. Townsend, lovely dummy. Townsend, can he make it? Feeding out. It's a lovely try. Must be for John Leslie. John Leslie, the scorer. His fourth try for Scotland. His when I was born, rugby had only been professional for 18 months. I'm Callum Kerr. I'm 19 years old, and in those two decades of professional game, rugby has been revolutionised. The basics are still the same. You have the tackle and the pass. But now, rugby is played by some of the most fierce athletes on the planet. And to some of the biggest crowds in sport. It's a cash crop, getting investment and sponsorship unheard of 20 years ago. So in a rugby landscape that was completely changing, how did Scotland's game evolve? Well, to answer that question, we just need to look at Scotland's most successful team, the Glasgow Warriors. I'm here at Scotson Stadium to find out more. I met up with Glasgow's media communications manager, Jeremy Bone, to see just how they have evolved as a professional team. Um, I mean, certainly, the club has really grown over the last number of years. Um, certainly since I've been here, we've seen massive difference in terms of the, the rugby has played, um, but just the whole culture around the club, the growth of the sporters. Obviously rugby has yeah. become a much bigger game here, um, and certainly in the city, and we're now seeing more than 7,000 people at all our home games. Whereas going back just up two or three years ago, we were sort of two or three thousand. So yeah. the game's really grown, which is great to see, especially in a, a city that's dominated by football. Um, but it's you know it's become a much bigger sport, um, not just in, in Glasgow but in the whole of Scotland since it became professional. Guinness Pro 12 champions in 2015. Yeah. When you joined four years ago, did you ever think that was possible, or was that always a name? It's always been it's always been a name for the club. Um, the club have got um, you know, we've got really high. Um, uh, goals, you know, we really we, we want to aim high, and um, we always have done. So, I think that's a big thing about the club is the culture of the club that we believe we can that we can win titles, um, whether that's domestic titles or European titles. Um, we, we believe that the club was just going to grow and grow and grow. And there's a mindset within the playing group um, and also within the commercial department that, that that's what's going to happen. That the club is just going to continue to grow. And we've seen that over the last number of years, winning the Pro 12. Um, was fantastic. It really was a, a very special season. There's no reason why that can't be done again, and there's no reason why Edinburgh can't do it. So it's fair to say Glasgow and Edinburgh have both adapted well to life in the pro game. I've came to Milbrae, home of BT Premiership side Air Rugby Football Club, who have built up a reputation for having some of the best in the country pass through its pitches. Players such as Gordy Reid. Mark Bennett and Finn Russell have all donned theirs colours before moving on to bigger and better things. So with clubs like this one across the country creating the superstars of tomorrow, it's fair to say that Scotland's professional game is in safe hands. Callum Kerr, the starting 15, air.